I'm Jeffrey here from Macarty. We're back to a new Phineas and Ferb episode review. And if you enjoyed this one, go and check it out. And we're back with the next two episodes of season three of Phineas and Ferb. And we start with another good one. And it starts with Candace thinking, wondering if she's put in charge while her mom goes over to the zoo. And yeah, we see this so that Phineas and Ferb and their dad is watching, which is this horse in a book self. <laughs> And, yeah, Irving comes wanting to save Phineas and Ferb and has this tablet that, well, like a tablet, that has all of the inventions that Phineas and Ferb has done. And, yeah, we see this cro alligator, crocodile, that was from the zoo that escaped. And, yeah, we see this guy not monogram that is giving Perry his objective about different smirts and yeah they go into the sewers and to find the alligator and yeah Candace is wanting to get the tablet but just so she can sew her mom and yeah different smirts gets trapped and sews that yeah his brother Roger is getting a award for mayor of the year and the different smarts is going to use this machine to suit and transform the, re transform the reward into a chicken and yeah Candace ends up saying the crocodile which is not light little anymore and ends up running away and driving away which Perry and the others get help with the fireside girls and yeah funny montage and we have and Pe Buford just eating hot dogs and different smirts is getting ready to fire the reward and Perry ends up almost making it fall but different smirts catches it and it ends up suiting different things turning into chickens and Candace ends up sitting on a chicken like yeah that chicken has to be lucky though kind of like with the squirrels in the episode Right, with Candace. And yeah, ends up getting the alligator back into the zoo as well. And Perry ends up putting a rubber chicken into the chickeninator and ends up causing it to explode. And we get this funny, with those two people that, you know, what would you expect? Something falling out of the sky or so, couple. Nothing like that when it comes to the chickens, obviously, but still funny moment with them. And yeah, we see the chickens that are just all over the place. And yeah, she's wonder their mom comes by and wondering why Candace is sitting on a chicken. Once again, very lucky chicken. And Candace is trying to get the tablet but ends up flying and getting eaten by the crocodile. But yeah, another good episode, and then we go to the next one. This is another good one, and we see Balzi as a doctor, and yeah, we see these mutated creatures, and he's like, "I'm not a doctor, I'm a ninja," and this, um, this so as well with the giant floating baby head and that sweater as well. That, that makes those noises. And then this, so with Susie and Norm, which Jeremy is wondering what Susie is doing in his room. And, or what Susie is, yeah, Susie's doing in his room. And so is this hole that he, Norm made. And he's like, Guacamole, you sure are a handful. <laughs> and we see this. So with Buford of how yeah he's he acts like he acts like one of those aggressive selfs, and yeah Roger Doofenshmirtz with this cat car as well and chasing down this villain mouse villain and then these kids trying to help Ducky Momo cross the street or not street cross the bridge over this river. And Balzi with this girl getting chased by this angry mob and end up getting off of the 
bridge onto a helicopter. And we see these jugglers. And, yeah, Susie with Norm again, giving Norm a makeover. And when Jeremy's trying to find his baseball bat, again, he's like, doesn't even notice Norm. And saying, holy guacamole, so a handful. And, yeah, the juggler gets knocked out. And, again, Buford just being aggressive again. And we see, once again, Jeremy coming over to Susie, wondering about the lemonade, because he says it's a lemonade stand, and guacamole, you sir are a handful. And even bringing Norm, you'd think that it was Norm, but no, it's actually apparently a lumpy table. And again, Buford just being in a very, 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 um, you know, crazy stuff. And, yeah, the mouse villain throwing a ball of yarn and Roger's Doofus Mercer's cat car ends up chasing it. And then we see this guy eating a chocolate harmonica. And, yeah, the kid's getting frustrated when trying to tell Ducky Momo that about the bridge. And we see Meep with this cereal that causes this fizz to come out of your mouth. And we see these fire, this thing with the fireside girls and this dancing with the bears, so, as well. And this band that's just playing instruments and parent, oh, go back to Susie, which thinks that Norm is now gone, which when Jeremy leaves, she's like, Guacamole, you are a handful. And, yeah, Buford gets, I guess, his just desserts. His just deserves here. And then we see this meteor that's coming towards Earth and his horse in a book self. And, yeah, Rod, Roger Doofensmertz gets the mouse villain and <laughs> Ducky Momo still not knowing where the bridge is, and Bell's ate with this girl, and eating the foam cereal, and Phineas is wondering what Candace thought of the Ferb TV, and she's like, I'm telling mom, and when she comes and brings her mom, the Ferb TV is gone, disappears, and it's just a regular TV. <laughs> but yeah, again, another really good episode. I'd like to know what y'all think. Let me know across the book. Get the next one.